Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Another tutorial. And I am your host, Chris Keys. And I am here today to show you some tips and tricks to not only enhance your music production, but also your mind. Now, today's lesson, I'm going to talk about how to use filter and automation together to create some cool type of sweeping and, and ear candy that you can use in your music production that will take your music production to a whole nother level, as well as just providing a good uh, sound to the music community. That's what is most important. We want to keep this community of making great music going. And if you do that, all of these extra things will come uh, with that in the music industry. So with that being said, let's jump into this tutorial of how to use automation to create uh, this cool little filter suite sound. I'm going to use uh, a beat that I had for the uh, for this demonstration. I'll play a little bit of it for you. Okay. So to set up this automation, the first thing you want to do is go down to your audio effects right over here and I'm going to use waves. So I'm going to go to waves right here and I'm going to go to, let's just use the one knob and you can use any of these one knob filter right here. And this does not have to be the one knob filter. You can use any uh, filter or plugin that you like. I just choose this, use this one. It's the most common one. A lot of people have this one. So if I play the beat back and I turn the knob, you'll hear the filter kind of go, right? That's dope, right? So what I want to do is create this, this effect where it kind of creeps back in. So how it does, how do you do that? All right, so number one, the first step is to put your one knob filter on your track. The second step that you wanna do is go into your automations and write in your filter. Now first, let's play the track back. And let's say I wanna start the filter right here. So I'll, let me just actually go into my filter and see where I wanna start. Think about right there. What's that? 4.6. Okay, so now I want to go back. Now I knew I wanted to start around measure three. So I can press A for automation. And now I'll bring down this, this drop down kind of uh, bar. And I'm going to go to my track and I see volume, read, all this decibels. I'll click volume, that little arrow. And I'm going to go down to the plugin that I'm using, which is my one knob filter. And if you're using something different, another plugin, another filter, just go down to the filter that you're using. I like this one because it's real simple. You can only choose one or two things, your filter or your resonance. And obviously I'm working with filters, so I'll choose filter. And now I can go back, play the track. And if I want to start here, I'll pause it. So I'll click here, right here, and you can see these lines, they start to line up. So this will let me know that I've activated something and I've activated my filter. So I could go right here and click a dot right here. And I'm going to click two dots. One for where I wanted to start and one before it. So if I, if I go back, you're going to see that it's already filtered out, right? But I don't want that, so I'm just going to raise that up to 10. And I want it to swell down into it around measure 3. Now you can do this at any part of the beat that you want. I'm just going to use this around measure 3 for tutorial purposes so you can see how to create it. So I play it. Let me start back from the beginning. It's regular, it's not filtered yet, but it's about to start filtering. And you see how that filtered? Now I want it to rise back up. And by the time we get to the end of the bar here, I'm just gonna create two more. 
Raise this back up to 10. You see it started back at measure nine. I'm right back without a filter here. Excuse me, let me move this back up so y'all can see it. I'm not without a filter, but I wanna do something cool and kind of creep into it and give it a better vibe. So what I wanna do is just move this last little dot here over right here. Oops, around 4.6, where was I there? And let's check this out and let's see what it sounds like. There you go, you see it kind of creep back into it. And another little tip that you can do, if it's not, if it's going a little, you see, I'm gonna scoot it back just a little bit more. And you see it's kind of going a little bit too sharp for me. So what I can do is I can press shift and control, and that will give me this little thing where I can swoop it down just like that. And you can play with it. You can go up, you can go down, you can do an S curve, but let's see what that sounds like right there. Boom, there you have it. That's your way of you can use automation and the filter effect to create more ear candy and a more producer, professional sound to your production.